Right, welcome to this review video for another piece of artwork by WarhammerArt.com. Uh, package has arrived here, nice and safe. I'm uh, going to open it up and take a look inside. Uh, so, it's a company called WarhammerArt.com, and they've been commissioned, or they've been given permission by Games Workshop uh, to reproduce some of the famous pieces of artwork uh, from Games Workshop down through the years. So there's, there's modern artwork there, and then uh, some of the classics have been redone as well. And they're available in different size, sizes and different formats of prints. And uh, we've seen a number of reviews already, uh, but we're going to take a look at another uh, style that you can get these prints in. So, I'm just going to open up the packaging here. Pretty much every time I've got a package from them, it's always expertly packed, which is good. Not anything to arrive damaged. This is one of the larger prints here. So we'll just pull this out. Looking pretty nice. Very, very nice. I'll just spin this around. Right, so this piece of artwork is called uh, Rogue Trader, and the format here uh, is a framed canvas. So it's a canvas print, and then it comes in a nice black frame as well. There's sort of a gap uh, in between here. So it's quite a unique one. Not, I've not really seen artwork. Uh, Framed this way, but it does look, it does set it off very nicely, nice and thick as well. You can see the thickness uh, of the frame just there. So we get this opened up. So very iconic, famous piece of artwork here. This is actually the piece of artwork that got me into Warhammer 40,000. Uh, I was at a, uh, a class in secondary school. A friend of mine had brought in uh, at that time one of the. Uh, rule books, the, the box set that came for him at 40,000 at the time, not sure what edition it was, uh, but you had a rule book, uh, like a codex book, it was just, there was three different books inside the box set, and this was on the cover, I think, of the rule book at the time, and I used to just stare at this picture, I just love the whole atmosphere of it, this uh, group here of uh, Crimson Fists, defending a hill under attack from orcs, uh, you can see uh, clues that orcs are attacking them, in the print here, or well, there's a clue, there's an orc head, uh, and then I just used to look at the, just the layout of it, it was just so impressive, really, really liked it. It just stirred the imagination, that's the, the power of the artwork from Games Workshop, uh, it's a big draw card for people to get into the hobby, uh, and that's what happened with me, I was just inspired by the artwork, uh, and then uh, my friend was already collecting, he collected Eldar at the time, and then the first army really that I collected was Blood Angels. Uh, and then that got me into the hobby and just started to expand from there. I was about 14, 13, 14 years old at the time. So, just removing the last of the packaging. It's good to see the packaging, it comes in, I mean, it arrives perfect here. Uh, it's not bashed around in the post, which is good. You want it to arrive in pristine condition. Just put that to there. So, it comes with a, uh, they all come with one of these certificate of authenticity, so this is a genuine. Uh, print here, and then it's signed by uh, someone from Warhammer Art, and then also uh, signed by someone from Games Workshop as well. And these are limited uh, edition or limited run prints here, so they're quite unique. This is number 12 out of 250, and then that's just uh, signed there for you as well. So nicely done. Right, let's just clear the packaging away. So the title of this one uh, is called Rogue Trader. Uh, and then, as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, Crimson Fists defending a hill against Orcs. And they've been attacked from all sides, uh, which just adds to the intensity uh, of the image here. So this was painted by uh, John Civic, and it was released in 1987. So this is one of the, the classic pieces of Warhammer artwork that goes all the way back. Um, so I just really wanted to get the ones that I've got. If you see the different reviews for these paintings, uh, of these prints, uh, I wanted to get a spread of old and new uh, mixed in. There's no way you want to push away the older paintings uh, and see those as inferior. I think just to see the different styles of, of artwork uh, over the years, I think it's, it's a great thing to see. And you have to trust me on this one. You, you see these prints you know, on magazines and on, on covers of, of books and so on, but uh, when you see them in a larger print, it, the details really do stand out. Just looking around here, we'll, we'll zoom in a bit closer. Uh, so you can see uh, the attention to detail in this piece of artwork. All right, it's just zooming in here so you can uh, see the detail of the artwork, even the detail in the sky. Just all those different layers, things going on. 
banner there with the uh, famous Crimson Fist symbol. You see the orc there, nice finishing touch that. Love this weapon, whatever that weapon is, I don't know what it is. It does look very cool. And coming around, this guy's taken a hit. I'm going to zoom in a bit closer actually you can, so you can see even more detail. Yeah, because there is there's so much going on in this image here. Unlike the, the Tau Fire Warrior, very iconic, sort of a, a single figure just to stand back and admire. And this one, uh, there's just complete chaos going on. And you can really sense the intensity of the battle here. So an all, already wounded uh, Crimson Fist Space Marine and has taken a hit to the throat there. Dropping his bolter, coming down another wounded one there, the head bandage. Just there, another one wounded here on the shoulder. Coming round, there's a fallen one just there. Do like the old style uh, Space Marine armour here, and you can get a hold of one of the miniatures now. Games Workshop have released uh, that one off uh, commemorative edition, that Imperial Space Marine, uh, that is available to buy. Uh, I've got one painted up for my Imperial Fists, uh, but that is the star of these marines here this one wounded sort of electrical tr trouble with him here uh, smoke coming out of the fence just here on his leg uh, but desperate times still having to fight even though wounded marine down here gaping hole in his side and then parts of marines just down here this one smouldering and burning as well and then just coming up here the banner's being held by another wounded marine. So, love that kind of uh, style to a painting. Just loads going on. You can, s I can see that's reminding me now why I used to spend so long looking at this piece of artwork. Very inspiring stuff. Lovely colour scheme there as well. Lovely glistening blue armour and then the crimson uh, fists there just adding that red colour. And then you've got the warmth and the glow uh, of the uh, flashes nozzle flashes there from the bolters firing. Right, so there it is, beautiful piece of artwork. I've seen uh, the detail going on, but as I said earlier, only when you see a large print like this can you really focus in and pick up on all the tiny details uh, on uh, images like this and all the others as well, just, just so much more detail. So beautiful print, nice and collectible, uh, yeah, qu quite expensive, but Really, you do get what you pay for. You're getting a beautiful piece of artwork, uh, limited edition. Something nice you can treat yourself to. A great gift idea as well. Uh, perhaps you know someone that's into 40k and they've got a nice army. This is something that would be a, a nice addition. You know, you finish collecting a force and at the end of it, uh, you can get a relevant print. Uh, this is on the cover art section of the Warhammer Art. Uh, website. If you go onto the website, they've got these different sections here. They've got Space Marine, Xenos, and so on. Uh, but on cover art, uh, if you click that, you'll find the Rogue Trader image, along with a load of other uh, cover art images as well. Some of them from computer games, actually. Dawn of War, uh, some of their front covers, old, older editions of the Warhammer 40,000 rulebook. Uh, you can get those as prints as well. So, nice variety on the website. As I said, you can check out uh, the different sections. Uh, and have a look around the different images that are available and uh, it seems like they're adding more images uh, to the collection as well which is really good so this one is it's a framed uh, canvas print it's 400 mil millimeters by 600 that's the size of the print itself and then the frame uh, is extra uh, size on top of that so about 45 wide and then uh, 65 centimeters tall as well. So that's the review. Uh, fabulous piece of artwork. Really glad to, to have this one because uh, for me it is pretty much the most iconic Warhammer 40,000 piece of artwork there is for me personally because it's the one that got me into the hobby. Uh, so that's the review. Leave your comments what you think of this piece of artwork. Did it bring you into the hobby? Uh, and then maybe uh, leave in the comment section uh, was there a famous piece of Warhammer? artwork that got you into the hobby uh, then uh, leave that in the comments section It'll be interesting to see which pieces of artwork have inspired people in the past but uh, there it is uh, check out warhammerart.com and you'll be able to find uh, the different pieces of artwork on there thanks for watching and tune in next time